Welcome ladies and gents, the name is Occasionally Ben, and since patch 2.2 I've been experimenting with different weapon combos that don't involve snipers and among the most rewarding have been the scout rifles. They're ideal in objective game types such as rift and control and if you happen to have a fellow teammate running the same, you'll find them extremely efficient in controlling choke points, even when the opposition has you outnumbered. In this video I bring you a list of the 5 best scout rifles in my arsenal. I'll also have some recommended perks to watch out for in case you find yourself with one or more of these scout rifles or one of their analogs. The scout rifles you're about to see are available on both platforms and across all classes. They aren't ranked in any specific order, they're just the top of their respective archetypes. Actually some are the only members of their archetype. Oh, and spoiler alert, if you typed Yallerhorn in the comments section of my top 10 OP primary weapons list, I'm sorry to say, Yallerhorn won't be on this list either. Seriously guys, what's your problem? I also want you to know that I've taken the pronunciation corrections from the previous video into account. I appreciate the constructive criticism because it makes creating content seem like a collaborative effort. So thank you for that. With that said, first up. Bakakotas SR4. This weapon belongs to the high impact, low fire rate family of scout rifles and is obtained from the gunsmith. It boasts the highest stability stat of its archetype. Other weapons in this archetype include the Last Extremity, the Cole of Ansa's Duty, or Dudu, and the Badger's CCO. In the Crucible, this gun complements a strong defensive team shot oriented playstyle and does wonders in objective game types. With hand laid stock, it completely dominates long range engagements, requiring only 3 headshots to kill. The perk Firefly is an added bonus that I've never really appreciated on scout rifles until I got this one. If you're looking for the perfect roll, I recommend one with hand laid stock and third eye. I recommend third eye because it's important to maintain a minimal safe distance with this weapon. Almost as if you're running a sniper. Because at close range, let's just say there's a high rate of self bamboozlage with this weapon. It is quite easy to lose against almost any other type of weapon in the game. Oh, and side note for you bubble brohams and brohamshanites out there. Using this rifle or its analogs with weapons of light on your defender turns it into a two banger against low armored targets, dealing up to 99 damage per bullet. You're welcome. Number 2. The Hung Jury SR4. This weapon is of the medium impact, medium fire rate archetype. It can be obtained from the dead orbit vendor or via dead orbit packages. It boosts the second highest base stability stat of any scout rifle. The highest being one of its analogs, the Tuanella SR4, sold by the gunsmith. In the Crucible, it handles beautifully. The current vendor version you see here comes with single point sling. But if you happen to have this weapon as a package drop, I'd keep an eye out for hand laid stock, single point sling, and third eye or underdog. These perks compensate for the weak points of scout rifles at close range. Single point sling improves your ability to strafe in gunfights, and underdog improves range and handling and it also happens to be one of the few perks in the slot that procs in PvP. If you're on the hunt for the perfect hung jury, however, do what I do and go on a hunt for the perfect Tuanella SR4. The Tuanella has a slightly higher base stability stat, and you have a greater chance of landing a great roll with the weekly arms day resets than you do with dead orbit packages. Number 3. The Suros Dis 43. This weapon also belongs to the medium impact, medium fire rate archetype. It can be obtained from the gunsmith and while it doesn't boast any unique base stats of its own, it's one of the few in its class that can be fired full auto. It reminds me a lot of the vision of confluence from the days of old, and by old I mean, well, a year ago. Besides the full auto perk, the perk's hand laid stock, perfect balance, fitted stock can also be found on this weapon. These will noticeably increase the stability of the weapon making it more consistent at medium ranges. It performs surprisingly well at close quarter engagements as well, but I still run it with a shotgun or fusion rifle to keep the sly tacklers at bay. If you happen to play defensively and use primaries more often than special weapons, you'll enjoy this one, as it'll cut down premature shotgun rushers a lot faster than they'd expect. Number 2. The Inward Lamp. Obtained from the Trials of Osiris, this is one of two or three legendary scout rifles with a high fire rate and low impact. This gun comes full auto by default. This weapon could benefit from a boost in stability, as is the case with most scout rifles. And I think it's the reason why most people in the market for this particular archetype prefer the Suros DIS-47 instead. The DIS-47 is sold by the gunsmith and grants users additional stability booster perks such as counterbalance that aren't found on the inward lamp. Coupled with a good strafe, 
This scout rifle can allow users to best even auto rifles at close range, at least the non-doctrine ones. If you've been playing Destiny since year one, you may have noticed that this is a reskinned version of the Dead Orbit scout rifle, Deadshot Luna. And if you happen to have said weapon, I recommend rolling the perk Braced Frame at your local gunsmith, as it will significantly reduce your recoil. Braced Frame for some reason is no longer available on the Suros DIS-47. Of all the scout rifles listed so far, this is probably my favorite. I got this weapon early in year two and it quickly became my favorite PvE weapon and my most used scout rifle in PvP besides the next item on my list. But before we hit said item, let's look at one honorable mention. The Tlaloc. In all honesty, in terms of damage over time, this under certain conditions is the most powerful scout rifle in the game. But it has a few limitations. First, it performs optimally only when the user retains their super and plays the neutral game. And without that perk, Overflow Active, this scout rifle is just a much less stable, exotic version of the Hung Jury SR4. Secondly, it's Warlock specific, which means the hunters and titan purists of Destiny will never get to partake of its awesomeness. I'm sure some Warlock elitist is fuming right about now, so I just want to say respectfully, <laughs> last but not leastly, the Mida Multi-Tool. According to an article by Game Informer, the Mida has been the most used primary following patch 2.2. Now, is this because it's overpowered? Personally, I don't think so. I think it's because the Mida performs consistently well in medium and long range engagements, but can still be used in close quarter engagements as well. In the hands of a skilled user with a wicked strafe, the Mida can compete in ranges dominated by both hand cannons and auto rifles. It's got the perfect balance of stability and damage output, and the fact that it boosts your mobility grants the user more control over the weapon's overall performance. So people are less likely to blame the gun for their loss at a given engagement. If I get four shot by a Mida while using one myself, I feel nothing but respect for the person that beat me. Whereas if I lose to some other random OP primary, I'll feel some kind of salt about it. It's always been that way with the Mida. I think it's seen the least amount of change from its year one counterpart than any other exotic primary weapon. Actually, now that I think about it, scout rifles in general seem to be the least affected by weapon tuning patches. I wonder if it's because they're underused or if they've always been balanced. What do you think? You're probably wondering by now why I didn't include five more scout rifles on this list. To be honest, a lot of the scout rifles we have in year two are reskins of one another. Based on the Bungie database, there are only about 16 legendary scout rifles at the new light level, and their base stats vary so little that a stability perk here or there will close any differential gap between them. So I chose to list those that stood out within a given archetype. And in a couple of cases, they're slightly better analogs. That's about it. What does your list of the best scout rifles look like? Type at me about it. If you enjoy this video, feel free to check out episodes 1 and 2 of this series. Links will be below. Next video in this series will involve fusion trifling, and also, by popular demand, fusion rifles. Oh, and if you happen to have your one footage of... of a fusion rifle with a name that starts with a P and rhymes with socket schmindinginity, send me a message on Twitter. Link also below. Until then, God bless and a deuces.